Hey, Red Wing fans, welcome back. Uh, what we have here is <laughs> uh, a new collaboration, and it was between the JXTA, which I believe is a some kind of art school or art uh, facility. I didn't really do a lot of research on it. You can look it up. I guess it's called Juxtaposition, and they appear, they, their little uh, moniker abbreviation is called JXTA. So uh, <clears throat> what we have here is uh, essentially a collaboration with JXTA and Red Wing. And uh, what I'm going to tell you is that uh, it's not really a completely new boot. It is <clears throat> the 8849. And you can look that up, but the 8849 is a um, prairie leather. It's a mock toe, six inch. And uh, if you don't know the difference between prairie leather and Klondike, they're very similar. They have the brown leather that was dyed on the outside, I guess. It was painted, dyed, whatever you want to call it. And uh, so it's got a, um, a brown base, patina, I guess you could call it. And uh, it now it also has a, um, uh, I guess, well, the prairie seems to be a little more matte finish. It's not very shiny. And uh, if you, I don't have a Huntsman or a Klondike leather boot, but the Klondike was uh, essentially the way they came in the 8874, no, 9874, and a couple other uh, variations. Uh, the 2966, I think, was Klondike. And it was a little bit more glossy finish. Not, not a lot more, but just a little bit more glossy. And so they, they patina slightly differently. I, don't, I haven't really worked with the 8849s as far as uh, the full patina, I don't know what it does, but I do know that the Klondike definitely does turn out nice and uh, you know a nice brown uh, patina will come through. So something else that uh, makes this different from the 8849 is it has, of course, as you can see, it's called, I call it, well, Vibram calls it the Caramato, and it's basically a lug sole and it's very very popular it's uh, was designed in 1937 go to the Vibram website and do a little Google search and it'll tell you the history and how they how this guy Vital Vibram or whatever his name was he came up with um, he came up with this design and it was um, you know it was supposed to combat you know using the like steel spikes and stuff so anyway you can look it up it's a very beefy sole very tough and it's still being used, which is amazing. I mean, this is since 1937, and that's a long time. It's like they got it right the first time, and everyone just keeps using it. There's variations of it, of course, a little more modern variations, but this is still good to go. I mean, I would wear this any day of the week. So let's talk a few more things. I don't know about the 8849s. I don't really have any, but this one has um, a middle stitch, which is white, and, of course, the white on the, the mock toe portion, white stitching on the... Um, on the, the welt. A single white stitching going on the back here. And uh, so a couple more uh, differences. Of course, you can see visually this sole right here, um, the midsole, it's red. And that kind of adds just a little more, um, you know, panache, I guess, to it. A little more, um, uh, just, I don't know, like, like a modern, I guess, a little modern take on this. Even though this is a very, um, classic design from the 1950s but they just uh, want to modernize it I guess maybe for those of you in the hip-hop and uh, uh, that kind of culture maybe they like something a little more uh, not as traditional and as you can see this has uh, nickel eyelets which I like and they also have nickel speed hooks now if you notice these nickel speed hooks are a little bit different also I'll try to do a close-up and what they are is they're a lot so these are rounded off, they're not as, um, uh, they're a little more refined and they're thicker. And I believe it's because they want these to be um, easier to hook the, the paracord lace, which is another feature. These, have, these come with paracord. They also come with the Taslin black, but this little feature has uh, like a red and black uh, paracord. And so this is deep enough for it to hook on better and it stays in better, I think. I know the vintage um, speed hooks, I don't have a model to show, oh, actually I do. I'll show you. So I have this, uh, this is the 
one of these, I can't remember the name of this. I don't want to make it. It's like 90, 8011? 80, no, it's not 8011. It is 8211. And if you notice, these speed hooks, they're a lot more shallower. They're smaller and they're not as um, prominent. And so they don't hook onto like this. These are leather laces. They, the, the leather lace kind of tends to come out a little bit easier. But it's real close. I mean, these are very similar. The other ones are slightly bigger. I don't bigger in diameter. So it's, it hooks onto the, the um, paracord and holds it a little better. So these are just, these are more the vintage ones. They're smaller, smaller in diameter, smaller hooks. And it just doesn't hook on as well. Like I noticed these leather laces, they'll pop out while you're wearing them. So, but that's okay. So they made that adjustment. They made use a slightly larger diameter and just, they hook better. So nickel is cool. And if you notice, there's an embossing on it. This X, I guess, is their symbol for JXTA. And that's uh, kind of a special thing. And one more thing that might get people some, might get people excited is that it has this JXTA and it's backwards because my phone is, uh, <laughs> we're doing the, what is it, uh, the selfie. And it's a JXTA, uh, it's a, um, a lace keeper. So that's kind of a special addition. It's made of metal, it's chromed, and it's uh, kind of fancy. So, and I just noticed, huh, bummer, I paid full price for factory seconds. Look at that. That's not gonna go over so well. I need to check all of mine, the ones that I picked up. That's strange that they sold factory seconds for full retail price. That's kind of a rip, in my opinion. Yep, just noticed that. <laughs> yeah, Red Wing is getting a little bit uh, kind of sneaky about this, you know. They didn't tell us that they were factory seconds. They just sold them, and then they said, you figure it out later, I guess. So, I don't plan on wearing these. I'll probably uh, put them on the secondary market just to see how they go. Because it's not my style. I don't really like this red. It's a little too much for me. But, hey, somebody will like them. Look for them on uh, eBay. And uh, thanks for joining me. And I don't think I've covered everything this time. So if you're into them, cool. Just thought I'd give you the quick, quick and dirty. And thanks for watching. Thanks for showing up.